here we are looking at ocean spray. And if you use your imagination, when a wave rolls into the beach and crashes, it goes Psh! That's kind of what this plant looks like. It's a shrub that grows about 6 to 20 feet tall, and it has several main stems that are arched. Uh, the young stems are ridged, so if you roll it between your fingers, it's not perfectly circular. You can feel the ridges on it. And the older ones are kind of a brownish red color, uh, and the bark can sometimes be peeling on the older ones. The leaves are alternate. They're kind of triangular or egg-shaped. They have these deep veins in them, and they're also either lobed or coarsely toothed. They have these beautiful white cream flowers. The individual flowers here are teeny tiny. They're like five millimeters across, but they grow in these pyramidal terminal clusters that look kind of like lilac flowers. In the winter, these flowers turn brown and they remain on the plant all season long. So it's easy to recognize in almost any season from the flowers. One of the common names for this plant is ironwood because of the hardness and strength of its wood. Uh, indigenous peoples used it to make a whole number of things, and it could be made even harder by heating it over the fire and polishing it with horsetail. It was used to make things like digging sticks that were used to dig for either clams or roots. It was used in making spear and harpoon shafts, bows and arrows, uh, roasting tongs uh, because it wouldn't burn easily in the fire, used for making halibut hooks and also cattail mat needles. Uh, and my favorite, it was used for making salmon barbecuing sticks. Before nails were readily available, settlers would use pegs made out of ocean spray in construction. The plant also had medicinal uses. The maca people would peel the bark and use it as a tea for convalescents and athletes, so it must have had fortifying qualities. Uh, the lummi used the blossoms as a diarrhea cure. Uh, the Chehalis would boil the dried up seeds and use it in the treatment of things like smallpox or measles or chickenpox or other contagious diseases. I could not find any modern medical study on it, so uh, it's not necessarily confirmed, but I think the CDC should get on that. It's an understory species, so it makes good cover for birds and small mammals and tree frogs. Uh, so, ocean spray. A beautiful plant, and if you need to barbecue some salmon, here you go.